we have a surprise birthday party for her. What surprise you? Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this wonderful day. We are together. We're engaged. Perfect. And then here we all are. <laughs> honey, honey, did you hear that? Did you hear the Korean culture? Where's that? I've only been in a couple where she only had two girlfriends and they were both black. Oh. This video is about our trip to Atlanta last year around Chuseok. I know it has been a while since we came back from the trip, but we got to meet a lot of interesting people who share their stories, so I didn't want this footage to go to waste. I hope you enjoy our time in Atlanta, and let's get started! As you know, we love road trips. We love seeing things as we go, and James is a great driver who doesn't mind driving for long, and it's much cheaper than flying. <laughs> So we drove around 10 hours from our place in Virginia to Atlanta, Georgia. It was a super long drive. Oh, love sign. On our way there, we stopped by to see one of the love artworks, which was absolutely beautiful. These love artworks are everywhere throughout Virginia. I love them. India, what did you say? Oh, 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 James did all the driving, so I really thank him for that. It's so tomorrow, so we just arrived in Atlanta and we're going to actually stay Jeju Sana today. We call it Jim Baby just saw you. We spent our first night at Jimjilbang called Jeju Sauna. It's like real Jeju. It was a great place for us to rest and clean ourselves after a long, long trip. We came to spend Chuseok in Atlanta with this middle group called Red Bridge Society. The group is for black and Asian singles, or couples, or even families to mingle and socialize with each other and support each other. What's that? What is it? Uh, for the kids? Okay. On behalf of Red Group Society, we want to welcome you guys to Chusa, to Jeju Sana in Duluth, Georgia. We're going to have a lot of fun this trip. Yes. The group invited us to Atlanta and they welcomed us once we arrived there. She's the founder of the group. The food at the Jimjilbang was on point. It was very good Korean food that I needed right at the moment. And we met this okay, cute couple so and I wanted hi to interview guys. them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so will you introduce yourself? I'm Johnny. And I'm Martina. Together, we're engaged. We've been together for four years. Jenny works at a retail store, and I will frequently visit the retail store. And I visited it for about a good four or five years, just because I shop there all the time, but not like repetitiously. And then randomly, in 2011, with my like, I looked horrible. Like I was getting my hair done, <laughs> uh -huh. and I and I, uh, I had to walk into his store like mid break and so I wasn't looking pretty at all like I looked a hot mess and he puts his hand over the counter and he like puts his hand on my hand I was like I would like to take you out <laughs> on the date and I was like cool and that was history from there 
Oh, oh really? So okay, so now I wanna hear from your your side. So I mean, that's exactly how we met. What made you do it though? Yeah. You got my attention. Like when? Like from the beginning? <laughs> or? When I first saw her. When she did have makeup on and stuff, I guess she caught my attention, but she didn't pay attention to me. I just kind of, you know, was a little shy to ask her out and stuff. And so maybe after like the third or fourth time I saw you in there, I thought it would be the perfect chance. So I actually grabbed her hand and said, hey, you know, I want to take you out, you know. I, I can't refuse. <laughs> so she gave me her number. Mm -hmm. That's like a movie, actually. <laughs> <laughs> How did you feel when he did that? Like, okay, first I was embarrassed because I looked a hot mess. And then <laughs> that was my first one. And then the second one, I was like, oh, really? Okay. And I was like, well, whatever. Because I just have kind of like the... You didn't even want to like date or like just... Yeah, I wasn't open to relationships at the time so i was like whatever like, we go out we right, go right, out. Right. i'll give yeah. it a try kind yeah. of thing i was just like okay you know I, I see him all the time but i was very persistent and consistent with, yes you know he was very persistent so we started he we went on our date in 2011 and then the whole year 2011 he would like do random acts of kindness to let me know that he wanted me to be his lady. Yes. So like, I had a bad day and he, he, I told him about it, but I didn't think he was listening because you know, guys don't really pay attention. So next thing you know, I, we, I opened up the front door and there was a bouquet of, a, a bouquet of flowers. flowers. And I was like, where did this come from? And my mom was the one who opened the door first. So she noticed it first and we were like, oh my gosh, we left flowers on our door. And then, um, I get a call from him, or did I call you, or you called me? I think I called you. And yeah. Said, hey, did you get the flowers? So I think he's like, I heard you had a bad day. So it was that, and then um, he even like bought gifts for my mom. So he was like just trying to move his way in there with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Korean tradition, though. You know, just hey, you know, you gotta get the mom to like you first, right? Yeah, because he grilled in my mom. Like he was like, oh, it's your birthday. Here's a birthday gift. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, like just anything to wow. like thrill her in. Uh -huh. And so he, 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 you got my mom. Yeah. But <laughs> me, I was like, oh, okay. Whatever. That was yeah, very yeah, sweet yeah. of you. So I finally accepted, I guess, our relationship was October 10th, 2012. So it had been a year. And um, we went through some ups and downs or whatever. And finally, I gave him a try because I noticed of all the great things he do for me like you you put in some work to date me and he came to me and was like look I really want to be with you like if you're the woman that I want to be with like I don't even give any other girl some time in the day because I want to be with you and at first I thought he was lying you know guys do game so you're like yeah whatever but he put in the work yeah he was telling the truth I mean I know that a lot of guys do you know play games but it's just when you want to be with somebody, I guess you just really know. Yeah. You want to be with somebody. Yeah. He proved it, so I decided to give him a try, and mm -hmm. here we are. Where you and then we got like really serious for two years, and then I um, popped the question. Yeah, he popped the question December 27th, 2015. Yeah. yeah. You guys been engaged for a long time then. <laughs> for two years? Yeah. Is there a reason why you guys been engaged for money? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Finance. Finance. Oh, really? okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Because we, at first, we were like, just go ahead, get married, you know, you can do the courthouse thing or whatever and whatnot. But we won the we traditional won. thing. Mm. And we just moved in together, like, when we got engaged. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we had to, I guess, see how we were together living. Yeah. Oh, okay. you know, we both have really strong personalities. You more than me. <laughs> we both have very strong personalities. <laughs> so what about your family then? My family? What do they say? Um, or what do they okay. say? Because mm -hmm. I come from a family who is like all mixed anyways. Okay. My uncle is, you know, African-American. 
who's been in the army, my mama, who's Korean, and she has a twin sister who's mm -hmm. Korean, but she married a Caucasian guy, a white guy. So all my cousins, my whole family, they're like a whole mix of babies. Mm. So yeah, I'm there, but okay, they're okay with it. You speak Korean and you know, you know a lot about Korean culture and all that. So no, you Korean American or like I grew up American culture. I mean, I was born in Korea. I came here when I was five. Okay. So basically, I, I'm I'm used to the mm -hmm. American culture. Ah, uh, okay. So what's a good thing about being in a relationship um, with somebody who's from different background or different um, culture? Or a different I guess background. it is being so different. It's very interesting because you know you're not used to the same old you know traditional thing that everybody's like knowing already. So it makes it a little bit more interesting. To, well, yeah, because you're constantly learning. Yeah, about each other. Yeah. And, you know, just because I would have never tried to learn Korean. Mm -hmm. it, that wouldn't even cross my mind. And I recently started learning it once we got engaged. Like, yeah, I mean, we're, our relationship was serious. I knew different command words, but other than that, like, I had to immerse myself into his culture because when you think about it, you know, we're gonna have kids, and I want my kids to know both sides. It'd be a better world if we were all mixed together. Into, you know, yeah, and um. Oh yeah. Let's talk about the first time you eat Korean food. Oh yeah, I've always eaten Chinese food. I didn't really know too much. She about thought uh, Chinese food was like the same thing as Korean food. <laughs> I did. Until I introduced her to Korean food, mm -hmm. and the restaurant we first went to was like Seoul Garden, and you know they come out with the side dishes for all the Korean food. Mm -hmm. So she was like, "Oh my gosh, is all this stuff free, or do we have to pay for all these side dishes?" <laughs> I was like, no, that's just part of the meal. They just give you side dishes to go with the main course. And then you fell in love with Korean food. food. Like, I can't really... I eat Chinese food now, but I have more of a love for Korean mm -hmm. food. Do you have any um, cultural struggles or do you have any differences? But you just said, like, you grew up in American culture, so I don't know, but still you have, yeah, you know, your Korean family, family, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, are there any Korean um, um, cultural differences? No. Not for me, really, but maybe yeah. for Because a lot of things he'll try to prepare me for before I go. Like, when we first started dating, he's like, yeah, you know, this in Korean culture, this is this and that is that, before I would walk through the door to either greet a certain way or do certain things. Yeah. Something you told me, I can't remember now, but... Normally, like, when you come to a house or something, you know, you do, like, I told you to, like, bring them. Yeah. A, a gift. Kind, of, kind of a, yeah. But not a major gift. There was like other stuff you told me. You have to like bow your head. Yeah, like but yeah, it's just it's like really minor things. But he would let me know before I go in like certain things. Like oh, this is this, and sometimes when you have a older person, yeah, yeah, like just certain respectful things that will be more respectful in their culture. Because you know Americans are just like whatever. But, um, hey, buddy, hey. Yeah, yeah, so you know, just mm -hmm. um, since they do everything by age, yeah. mm -hmm. it's more respectful. Better respect your elders. Yeah. yeah, even though if they are a couple months older. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So she has more of a culture issue than I do. Yeah. Now that we've been together for so long, I, I, I really never notice anything now, you know, with the whole difference between, well, you know, the difference between cultural, well, not really cultures. I've been learning about your culture, so skin color race. yeah, the whole skin color thing because that's like more of an American thing. Um, at first, when we first started dating, I noticed it. Like, I felt like everybody was watching, and everybody was like, "Oh, Asian? Oh, what's she doing?" I did feel awkward, and I and I kind of was like, I guess no, I, I feel felt the same way too. Yeah, because when we went to Lake Lanier, was it the Christmas thing? Yeah. And I felt weird things because a lot of people were giving us looks. But now I, I really don't care. Yeah, it's don't like whatever. whatever. We're so used to each other. It's, it doesn't really bother me anymore. But before, so people still do oh, people still do yeah, have people, a race thing. Yeah. And they'll look at us like that's a weird match. And you know, just they no, we, the side out of thing. Kind of like the 
<clears throat> that look people give. I mean, people don't want to believe it, but race is still like a big yeah, issue a big for issue. some people. And the traditional things and background, and, oh no, it shouldn't, you know. But, you know, we just scratch all that and we just make it work. Yeah, because. Love is stronger than all that. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah. Most we love each other, but we care. <laughs> but, um, yeah, people still give us kind of that. And I've gotten, I got in this comment where it's like, really Asian? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like he's human, <laughs> he's still human. So, I mean, people don't think about it when they like interbreed dogs, it's okay, but humans are not allowed to do it. And we're all mammals at the end of the day. We really don't care where they all stand. We don't think about it when they have a moth to poo. No, no. <laughs> but um, yeah, so. Any, um word of advice that you want to give to anybody who, I don't know, I are interested say, in... Yeah. I think if you're interested in dating somebody outside your race, um, you should just go for it. I mean, and everybody's going to have something mind. to say. So just have an open mind. And don't just feel like, I want to date outside my race because, hey, I never tried something new. It's more like you need to learn the person's culture, background, because in order to love someone, you have to... Know everything. know everything about them and accept everything about them like they deal with you. Yeah. Mm. You deal with your craziness. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what you have to do. Because um, you might be missing out on your life partner. Yeah. Anything you want to say? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And your, your family is wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Your daughters are adorable. Thank you so much. <laughs> we walk up and having some breakfast. I saw. Oh, good. I told you soy milk. What did you say? To you. To you. Uh, after nice food, nice breakfast, this is what you do. So once you're here, like you don't want to go anywhere, like super, super warm, especially, you know, it's all ondor, like it's very, very warm. You just, just want to lie down and rest and it's the best feeling. <laughs> Somi, what is that? <gasps> wow, turn around. Zumbuka. So this is Yang Mori and you need to do this when you come to Tim Jim I will show you how to do this. Hold like this and then Yuri. Like you're holding a sleeve. Mm. You usually one, two, maybe three. Depends on how big your head is. Mm. So three times, right? And then what you do is you open this and it becomes a hat. And then it goes on my head. Like my sister. Perfect. And then here we all are. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> yeah, Thank you so much. <laughs> nice. Looks like, like it, huh? yeah. What did you just get, honey? I just got me a brand new iPhone 7. I lost my phone, my iPhone 6. Yeah, two days ago. Two days ago. It's good. I'm back online, guys, so you can call me even though I don't have your number. <laughs> and then we had lunch. 
and the food was amazing. We had tteokbokki and kimbap. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Like it's crazy to actually see you guys in person. No, really, no. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And we went to have a dinner with the group members. They arranged this welcome dinner for us, and many people came and had a great time with us. Thanks everyone who showed up that night. I'm going to Korea. You're going to Korea? Uh, two weeks. Yeah, I'm leaving two weeks. Wow. <laughs> what do you want to do? What do you want to do? All type shopping. Uh -huh. uh, go see palace. Okay. Go, go buy a humble. Okay. <laughs> what's, your, what's your name? Joseph. Joseph. Do you have a Korean festival tomorrow? I have to work. Yeah. I work. Monday? I work seven days a week. Yeah. Oh, wow. I have to make money. To, yeah, you know, <laughs> you know typical <laughs> Korean. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so that my wife stays home. She <laughs> takes all my money. Uh. <laughs> and that's Korean culture, right? Korean yeah. Culture. Yeah. yeah. Honey, honey, did you hear that? Did you hear the Korean culture? What is that? Yeah, yeah. It's the correct culture. Yeah, it's the correct culture. No. no. <laughs> Really? Is that Chinese culture too? Yeah, this is my second time attending this kind of event. First time I came to Nova School through the Loving, uh, yes. loving Day event. Yeah. Now I'm a part of the family. Yeah. My name is Doug. My last name, my family name is Zito. So you pronounce it Zito. It's, uh, it's uh, apparently such an old Chinese last name that most Chinese mainlanders do not recognize it. They don't believe it's Chinese. Oh. And it makes it worse because I don't speak Chinese, so they think that I'm just bluffing. And apparently I look very Asian. Oh. Uh, and they didn't teach me. Oh, wow. They didn't teach you nothing. 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 Why not? Now I don't blame because now yeah. I can learn it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. do you ever ask? <laughs> they never give me a good answer. <laughs> my mom, she they said, I didn't feel like it. They said I think the reasoning I think is something they didn't want me to have like a funny accent when I speak English and be one of those like. Uh, or or that they didn't think that it was practical, like, which that's kind of dumb because you know it's only the most spoken language. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But I used to be a preschool teacher, so I love kids. <laughs> what brought you to this? To the United States? No, no, this group. This group? Yeah. Uh, Are you interested in black women? <laughs> yes, that's true. I won't deny that. Um, I, I've been in. I've only been in a couple races. I only had two girlfriends, and they were both black. Oh. Um, I grew up in Alabama. I was born up in Canada, and we moved to. Uh, out in a small town in uh, northeast Alabama. And I grew up around only white and black people, essentially. I didn't see Hispanic people. Um, I didn't grow up out with any Asians except my brother. So, honestly, I've just literally made my first Asian friend in Atlanta, and his name is Pong. Give a shout out to my boy Pong. That, that guy's um, But um, I grew up around mostly white and black people, so that's what I grew accustomed to growing up. So, um, I guess I probably had a little bit of self identity issues. Because I was, my brothers and I were one of the few Asian people in our hometown. And we're only Zito, so anybody knows of who we are in a small town in Alabama. So um, maybe that has some to do. I didn't used to have that kind of attraction, but I guess I started to respect uh, how black women have been able to overcome uh, struggles. I'm very pro natural hair for black women. I'm very pro natural beauty and everything. You know, especially my first relationship with a black woman. And she's a good person. I, you know, even though we broke up, we were actually going to get engaged back in uh, May of 2012 when she graduated college. But it, it didn't happen for personal reasons. But otherwise, my life is very complicated. My personality is very complicated. And, you know, I love this group. And it's, it's awesome. That's awesome. You, you helped us. And I remember, I, you know, when I got this camera from you, I cried. We were not able to afford that thing. You know, he was a student. and I, I really appreciate like uh -huh. what, what like what you guys do uh -huh. like it's pretty cool because uh -huh. there's not too many like black asian culture places in general i uh -huh. guess or like i don't feel like that conversation's really had that much uh -huh. as far as like black and asian relations uh -huh. in general uh -huh. so i was like oh that like that's interesting you know what i mean so yeah, well. i'm grateful that people appreciate my work 
and see my channel as an effort to help people come together and unite and understand different cultures and love others more. We, James, Lily, Yuri and the Somi appreciate your support and love from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. To just find out that James is gone. <laughs> I didn't go to school until 15 years old because you know because I have to isolate it through the you know the people. Really? Yeah. 